Arena dual skills are mostly worthless. There, I said it. Hot take, I know. However, I'm gonna go over my reasonings right now. Dual skills. They score 180 BST for the wielder. They grant 5 HP and plus 2 to everything else respectively. That's about it. That's pretty much all they do. They're mainly used for arena and arena modes, such as arena assault, allegiance battles, so on and so forth. Any mode that takes BST into account, that's where they'll flourish. However, as I just stated, they're kind of worthless. One of the biggest points of contention is obviously going to be the fact that BST just keeps increasing. Every year BST increases by 5 points, so naturally these skills are going to decline in value over time no matter what. And that makes sense. Obviously with more BST comes more score creep, meaning that skills that score 180 BST isn't really going to hold up. Especially since most of the scoring is based on legendaries anyway since they grant blessing buffs. If you want to score competitively, which I highly don't recommend, then you're going to need merged legendaries for three seasons, unfortunately. You can make do with what's easily accessible. In my opinion, that's probably the best thing you could do because investing anything into Arena, in my opinion, is really not worth it given that it has diminishing returns, but I will go into that in a bit. The other big factor, in my opinion, is that modern units just score more or match without the need for duels. Even the demotes, even the Grail units. So you could get a Balthus or a Yenthei or anything of the sort, and they'll score more than any other unit that has a dual skill, unless they have a PRFB slot, in which case they just match it. But then you also have duos that just kind of supersede the BST, which is kind of dumb if you think about it, because they could score 200 BST now regardless of their movement type, or their weapon type, or anything of the sort. As long as they're a duo, they score absurdly high. So Dual Chrom, for example, has his To Change Fate, which allows him to score 200 BST. New Year Dagger has their PRFB, which also allows him to score 200 BST, which is ridiculous. But you know what? That's arena for you. But as I did mention, duels can be used for older units to allow them to score 185 BST, which is nice if you already have them and you don't really want to invest into a Balthus or anything of the sort that scores 185 BST since they could just match it and you already have them ready to go. But the other issue is that if you just want to make Arena easier, you can't exactly bring a regular dancer or a regular healer. Healers can't properly score because of their specials, which don't allow them to reach 500 SP. And then they only have their specials, which only allow them to reach 300 SP. So combine that with whatever special they have, they're not really going to be scoring all too well in Arena modes. You can still bring them, but you're definitely going to have a score drop as a result. And then you also have Dancers who also suffer the same fate because Dance is only 150 SP, meaning that they're also losing out on a significant amount of score as a result, which does suck if you really want to use a Dancer in Arena because it does make things a lot more convenient, especially since they can use stuff like Wings of Mercy, since that's a 240 SP B slot. But hey, if you want a high scoring Dancer for Arena, you better pull for the new ones, I guess. But beyond me just crapping on the skill for a second, Dual skills can be nice if you just want to use favorites or older units that receive competitive PRFs in arena modes. Because let's be real for a second, Balthus is probably not going to be doing as much for you as someone like Ravenwood. Even though his PRF is a bit outdated, he can at least do a lot more in the player phase as opposed to Balthus who is more so enemy phase oriented due to his lackluster speed. Which can be bolstered, but that's aside the point. You can basically use older units with more competitive PRFs or PRFs that actually work, or PRFs in general, and use them in Arena as opposed to anything else. But beyond that, duels just kind of have a niche case for specific units. So for example, Versa would really really like this skill because her weapon depends on having a high HP stat, so that's really good for her, and she gets extra stats out of it. Or even Bride Fjorm, who also is the same way, who just needs a bunch of HP, but having the extra offenses is never a bad thing whatsoever. And that's pretty much for the dual skills. I mentioned earlier that I was talking about Arena with diminishing returns, and let's just get into that. Arena does have diminishing returns. There's no reason not to play it, because it gives you good rewards, even if you were to just coast between tiers 18, 19, and 20. But investing into it by pulling for legendaries and getting merges is absolutely not worth it unless you just want to get the crowns. Which in my opinion isn't really worth it outside of cosmetic purposes, but again, it's cosmetic. Tiers 18 through 20 grant about 4 orbs and a similar amount of codes. The only noticeable difference is going to be the feathers, which is about a 1k increase between 19 and 20. But even then, it's just 1k feathers, and we get a lot of feathers each month from all sorts of modes anyway, so you're not really losing out on much anyway. But if you still want to go for tier 20, you can still do that with units that score 180 and 185 BSC anyway without legendaries, provided that you have a suitable bonus. Which is another thing you gotta worry about, because even outside of the legendaries, you have to have a rotating bonus that you can meet so you can actually score well enough, because otherwise you're getting your score cut in half. 
But keep in mind there are four blessings for arena purposes, two that circulate each time, meaning that if you want to consistently keep up with tier 21, not only are you going to need units that score really, really high naturally, but you're going to need three types of merged legendaries so that you can actually keep up per season. So a fire legendary, or a wind legendary, or an earth legendary. You're going to need three of the four types of blessings if you just want to maintain it. And it's hard to say how many merges you need, but usually it depends on the season. It does vary for sure. And I'm not going to claim that you need a plus 10 for everything, but the fact that you need to spend a good amount of orbs just to potentially maintain tier 21, in my opinion, just for an extra orb and a couple more codes, isn't really worth it, in my opinion. Which is why Arena doesn't really have the best diminishing returns for your investment. If you're spending a thousand orbs to get a merged legendary, and you're only earning an extra orb per week, that probably wasn't worth the orbs. But again, you could kind of think of it as like an end game sort of thing, because that's the other thing. Fae doesn't really have an end game per se, and Arena is probably the closest thing to it. Although that can be interpreted in many other facets. For example, if merging and just collecting units is something that you really want to do, then that could be considered end game. Maybe doing abyssals or clearing certain maps with your favorite units, that could also be something. Maybe Aether Raids, but that's a whole different can of worms, mainly because you need mythics for scoring, you need to get, you need to pull for specific mythics, you need to do XYZ. Sure, you get a few free ones here and there from maybe an event or the free books or whatever, but the difference between something like Aether Raids and something like Arena is that you could go into Arena and all you really need is a bonus unit, which is a lot more accessible to most players, mainly because even if you don't have any of the first nine, at the very worst you can use an Asker unit, which isn't exactly recommended anyway, but it is a bonus that you have access to no matter what, so even if you don't have a Mythic for scoring in Aether Raids, you have something for Arena, which means that you could still score well enough even if you don't have a brand new legendary or a brand new hero banner unit or whatever the case may be. But then that just becomes a whole different debate because you need merges for Arena, but then you need Mythics for Aether Raid, so you don't win no matter what, basically. And then outside of that, there's Summoner Duels, but most people don't really like Summoner Duels anyway. And for the ones that play it anyway, they're pretty competitive into the game anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference one way or the other. Whether you consider that endgame or anything of the sort, the fact is, is that value is just perceived differently between people, so this really shouldn't discourage you one way or the other. If you want to invest into Arena because you want those crowns or whatever the case may be, go for it. This isn't here to discourage you. If you want dual skills for your favorite units just so you can use them in Arena and make Arena more tolerable, again, no shade to that do what you want. I do the same thing anyway, but if the goal is to just get dual skills so that you can score well, it's not really worth it in my opinion. Because again, tiers 18 through 20 still grant four orbs and a similar amount of codes, and at worst you're just missing out on a crown and one extra orb, which you probably won't notice anyway because at most it's just four a month. But yeah, that's about it. Do what you want with Arena. I'm not here to discourage you one way or the other. Just want to get my thoughts out. See ya!